answer because I thought we're all everyone's you know there's there's always like a race for the cure and fight for the cure and that's what we're trying to find so what do you mean we can cure it yeah well all the research uh, the research has been mostly wasted because it doesn't really get at how to cure cancer um, most of the research dollars go to uh, how to measure cancer and how to treat cancer but not how to cure it or how to prevent it and again the technology the knowledge to prevent and cure cancer already exists all we have to do is teach it to people put it to use and that's why I wrote a whole book on it uh, my book never fear cancer again because you don't need to fear cancer uh, never fear cancer again because we know how to prevent it we know how to cure it all we need to do is teach people how to do it so what and is the cure well, we, we talked about, you know, in the first segment about cells, how about the body is made of these little microscopic units of cells. You cannot be sick unless cells malfunction. Well, when cells malfunction in a certain way, we get what we call cancer. Well, what is that certain way? That certain way is that the cell uh, is no longer metabolizing oxygen properly. So there is a deficiency of oxygen metabolism in the cell. When that happens, the cell turns into a cancer cell. So your job is to make sure that all of your cells are getting adequate amounts of oxygen and processing that oxygen properly. And then if you have cancer, uh, you have to again make sure that the cells are getting and processing oxygen. And then the cancer simply goes away and disappears. I mean, we have people who read my books with stage four cancer, people who were sent home to die. They're told by their doctor, there's nothing more we can do for you. Go home, call hospice, die. They read the book, they cure their cancer, and it's all gone. It's so simple to do. So how do you make sure that your cells are getting enough oxygen? Because I, I can't tell. I mean, my cells look fine to me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, they do look fine. Um, well, one, one thing you can do is to stop eating sugar. In okay. fact, you have to stop eating sugar, uh, especially if you have cancer. Uh, cancer cells eat only one food, and that's sugar. Really? So, oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah, they no eat idea. a tremendous amount of sugar. So if you eat sugar, you're feeding the cancer. So if you have cancer, you have to be off of all sugar. And if you want to prevent cancer, be off of all sugar. Uh, sugar causes cancer in many different ways. For example, we talked about the fact that sugar lowers your immunity, damages your immunity. Well, your immune system is your number one defense against cancer. So if every day you're constantly lowering your immunity because you're eating sugar, you're gonna make yourself more susceptible to cancer. Then if you do have a cancer cell in your body, the cancer cell needs a lot of sugar. So if you're eating a lot of sugar, you're feeding the cancer cell, helping it to grow. Then if you're eating a lot of sugar, uh, what happens is the body w declares an emergency. When you increase the sugar content of the blood, the body declares an emergency and shoots a lot of insulin into the blood. The insulin tells the cells to suck up sugar. So the cells do that. They go <laughs> and they take all the sugar up, but now the cell has too much sugar. And the, what the cell does is it produces a saturated fat out of the sugar, and then it puts the fat into the cell membrane. Well, when you put the, the fat into the cell membrane, you damage the ability of oxygen to get into the cell. So when you eat sugar, you damage your cell membranes, you, uh, lower the amount of oxygen that can get into the cell and now you may be creating cancer because you're creating an oxygen deficiency in the cell. Now we want to reiterate to doctor what you mentioned in our first segment which is that natural sugar is better right if you go for fruits is that still okay to be eating fruit because we've all heard fruit is so healthy. Fruit is healthy. Uh, fruit juice is not healthy because now you're getting too much bioavailable sugar too fast. But eating fruit is very healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, for example, I'll tell people with cancer to drink a lot of carrot juice, for example, and say, well, don't carrots contain sugar? 
Well, yeah, there's some sugar in the carrots, but the carrot juice is very, very healthy. So something like V8 might be a good choice. Uh, no, not no? a good choice uh, because uh, you're you're basically dealing with a lot of vegetables that are probably are, are very moldy and very old and just not healthy. <laughs> so you're taking a lot of unhealthy stuff and making an unhealthy drink out of it. Wow, I I thought V8 was the healthiest drink you could go to. Now we we only have a couple minutes left, but uh, we want to talk about your other book, which is actually dealing entirely with weight loss. And this is something else you say that people can lose weight for good and not do it through dieting, right? Absolutely, you don't. You shouldn't diet. Dieting is very bad for you, uh, especially yo-yo dieting uh, lowers your immunity and can actually damage your heart, do a lot of problems. Uh, so what you want to do is lose weight. Well, the simple way to do that is to stop eating sugar. And I'm stop. starting to sense a theme here with the sugar. <laughs> Seems yeah. like that's the answer to all of these problems. Sugar is a, is a key. Um, you know, in fact, um, I talked once with a, a researcher uh, at Harvard Medical School, and, um, and I said, you know, do you think there's such a thing as a key to disease? And he said, well, probably not. But he said, if there was such a thing as one single key to disease, that key would be insulin. Hmm. And when you eat sugar, you make your insulin go up. When your insulin goes up, you throw your body into chaos. You, you know, all your hormones are in chaos. Everything's in chaos. So um, sugar is very key. Uh, and not eating sugar is very key to, to making yourself healthy. And, um, and when you eat sugar, you make your insulin go up. Well, when you make your insulin go up, what happens is that gives a signal to the cells to not get rid of any fat. In fact, it tells cells to store fat. So when insulin goes up, cells will store fat. So as long as you keep your insulin high, the cells will store fat. So you, you, can't, you can't lose weight that way. The only way to lose weight is to stop telling the cells to store fat because the body manages this. The body manages everything. It manages your, your blood pressure, manages your, your temperature, manages your, your blood sugar. Man the body manages everything. It manages the amount of fat in your body as well. But it has a switch that, that, that controls it. It's like a thermostat. When you have too little fat, it'll say store fat. When you have too much fat, they'll say burn fat. So burn fat, store fat. You keep the fat in the body normal. When you eat sugar, you make the insulin go up. The insulin turns on a switch that says store fat. Gotcha. And as long as that switch is in the on position, uh, I have people that come to me and they say, I eat like a bird and I'm still gaining weight. But they're eating the wrong things maybe. That's right. That switch that says store fat is still on. So even though they're not eating many calories, they're still storing fat. Gotcha. I, I, I wish we could sit here and talk about this all day. Unfortunately, we are out of time. But if you're interested in any of these books, just check out the website. The title of the main book that we're talking about is Never Be Sick Again. And give us the website real quick, doctor. It's beyondhealth.com. Beyondhealth.com. And we'll have that for you again.